Hey, it's Rod and Barry with the uh, Paddle Channel. Uh, and we just thought, recently we've started picking up uh, the surf ski, paddling the surf ski, and uh, it's, a, it's a different beast altogether, yeah. I think. Um, and we thought we would just take a few minutes and kind of share maybe the top two uh, helpful tips or, or helpful things that we have discovered in, in learning the surf ski. Um, for me, I think probably the top two things are time in ski. You just have to spend a lot of time in the ski. I, I think we've, we've got a lot of water time in, in stand up and uh, outrigger. And I think that uh, this has been, it's, it's a totally different craft. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been and, a fun challenge. And so yeah. you can't, I don't think, expect, at least not on the, on the V10 Sport uh, for me, you can't expect to just hop in it and take off. So you really got to plan to spend a lot of time uh, in in the ski, uh, Barry. What's your what's your time? What's your top? Uh, my top helpful two hint. helpful hints. Yeah. Um, flat water paddling would be a, a good one, but uh, I think that's rather obvious. For most of us, are going to do that on our own without Barry and Rod telling you to get in the flat water. <laughs> I think for me, well, I you know I'll say this: we I bought the I bought the ski for downwinding. Okay. And so I wanted to downwind in it. And I know you. I mean, oh, don't, yeah. Don't, I can't don't act like, because you know, you're like, every time we paddle, you're like, hey, it's blowing. Let's go Let's out go in the, the ocean. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I think that was that was going to be my other mm -hmm. takeaway was that flat water is that you got to, my inclination is to take it out in the ocean. Right. But flat water, flat water time, not just time and ski, but flat water time. Everything, like every time we spend, we come out and train on flat water, it makes us better on the ocean. Yes. So I think time and ski and a lot of yeah and i guess i was saying that jokingly but we have uh, i probably have been too aggressive taking it in the ocean pretty quick and not, while not very i am you're right but i think <laughs> i think we're starting to figure it out but uh, every single time we paddle flat water we both have an eye-opening aha moment and today my aha moment was um two things I had to pretend like I had a big beach ball or medicine ball in between my chest and the paddle. If I pretended to have a large beach ball in between my chest and this paddle, and I rotated my upper body, keeping my chest parallel to that paddle, that teaching cue made a big difference for me. The other thing Rod pointed out was that if I would concentrate on keeping that top hand above my eye, that seemed to really help me keep the paddle from going too far back in the stroke. When I go too far back, <laughs> that's when it gets really tippy. I slow way down and I tend to fall out. Of yeah, the, I, I've pulled crash. myself out of the ski many times yeah. by, by taking too big of a, too long so those, of a stroke. So those two things, uh, Rod asked me when we were doing our intervals, he said, hey, you took off today, what, what were you doing? And I said, you know, I really concentrated on pretending like I had that beach ball in between the paddle and my chest so that when I rotated, I kept my chest parallel to that uh, paddle. That was huge. And then that top hand above my eye, that those two things really helped me today. Um, I have a long way to go. I'm a beginner in the surf ski, but those two things really made a difference for me today. And um, speed went up, enjoyment went up. I didn't fall out of the ski. Stability yeah, was so improved. Stability, a, a lot of things. So, okay. Okay. Uh, so a quick wrap up of the top four tips that we found so far, picking up uh, for, as being absolute beginners at the surf ski. Uh, number one, time on the water in the ski you just got to spend time on the water number two time on flat water really really important that's going to help you work on your technique and uh, and work with confidence uh, work with good stability uh, Barry pointed out that paddling like you have pretending like you got a big beach ball and keeping that paddle away from your chest super helpful uh, and the other what was the other what was your other one uh, top hand. Oh yeah, the other one was his top hand. Keeping that top hand above eye level. So you don't want to be paddling down here. As you go out, that top hand is going to stay above eye level. That's going to give you good power, good extension here. It's also going to keep you from pulling yourself out of the ski from, uh, ski from taking too long of a stroke. Let us know what your two things are. Um, comment below, ask questions, maybe give me some more tips. Um, I've learned a lot of things from, from watching Oscar's videos online, um, the Mock Brothers videos online, so uh, 
anyway, it's fun to learn. Thanks for watching the Paddle Channel.